Hi, and welcome to CastNet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. Our top story, snow hit the Okanagan Friday, quickly transforming city streets into a winter wonderland. The snow caused some traffic issues as roads were quickly turned into a skating rink. There were some minor vehicle crashes throughout the day. Most took it slow on the roads and sacrificed a short commute for a safer drive. It was a little bit scary. Yeah. yeah, everybody took their time though, so that was really good and so it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, at least an extra 15 to 20 minutes. A graphic video of several slaughtered animals in an Oyama forest shocked viewers on Monday, but it turned out the gruesome scene is probably not illegal. The video shows several carcasses of animals concentrated in one spot on the forest floor, along with animal hides hanging from trees. A conservation officer said these types of sites are not uncommon, as a person who butchers a hunted animal can leave the remains in the bush. A barn on McKinley Road burned to the ground Wednesday afternoon, stopping traffic in both directions for two hours as crews worked to contain the fierce blaze. The barn erupted in flames just before 4 p.m. on the 1800 block of McKinley Road. Firefighters protected nearby buildings as the barn burned. Ducks and geese in the structure made it out alive. Fire officials believe the fire may have been started by a heat lamp inside. The 11th annual Western Canada Robo Cup Junior Games took over Okanagan College on Wednesday, pitting kids in grade 5 through 12 against each other. The kids brought their homemade robots to the college to show off their creation skills in a soccer match, an obstacle course, and a dance competition. Finally, the Santa bus rolled through the Okanagan this week for the 13th year, collecting toys, food, and cash donations for the Salvation Army. The bus stopped by the Castanet offices, picking up donated items and just over $1,300 in cash. Over the past 13 years, the program has raised almost $350,000 for the Christmas Hamper program. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.